This is the African dwarf frog. The African dwarf frog is similar, but not to be confused with the African clawed frog, which gets much larger in size. Just like most aquarium fish, the African dwarf frog spends its entire life underwater. But unlike most fish, the African dwarf frog does not have gills, but rather it has lungs. This means it'll have to come up to the surface of the water for air from time to time. It's important to keep in mind that this frog isn't a great swimmer, and it is possible for it to drown if it can't reach the surface. Because of this, the African dwarf frog should be kept in aquariums that are less than 2 feet in height and with little water current. The African dwarf frog is small but very hardy. They typically live for around a decade depending on how they're kept. The African dwarf frog can get anywhere from an inch to three inches in size, with most frogs typically measuring at around two inches. When it comes time to feeding the African dwarf frog, keep in mind that they are primarily scavengers, meaning they'll feed at the bottom of the tank. So be sure to pick up some sinking foods in the form of pellets, granules, and wafers. And if you want your frogs to be happy and healthy, be sure to feed them twice a day and use a variety of foods, not just dry processed foods. You can also use frozen foods or the African dwarf frog's absolute favorite food, live foods. They go crazy for blackworms and bloodworms. One interesting thing to note about this frog is that the African dwarf frog doesn't have a tongue or teeth for that matter. So you'll see them quickly lunge towards their food and you'll see them hold their foods in their mouth and kind of use their webbed hands and feet to help them finish off their food. And it's not that they're starving or that they don't know how to eat, it's just that they have no tongue or teeth. So they've developed this method of eating that helps make it easier for them. And in fact, the African dwarf frog has also, just like fish, lateral lines across their bodies. These can detect changes and movements in the water that can help them find food. At times, you'll find your frog floating motionless on the surface of the water, and while this might seem strange, it's absolutely normal. It's a behavior called burbling, which allows them to breathe in repose rather than swimming up and down the water column. The African dwarf frog is a calm and docile creature. They'll get along with other friendly aquarium inhabitants. Just keep in mind that the African dwarf frog is still a predator. If the tank mate is small enough to fit in the frog's mouth, they might try to eat it. Back at the shop, we actually had to separate these two because the African dwarf frog had this fish in its mouth. I'd recommend keeping them with other African dwarf frogs as they are very social. They should also be kept with mid-level, friendly fish like tetras or top-level swimmers like hatchet fish. I currently keep mine with a beta fish and they actually make great tank meats. If you do end up keeping multiple African dwarf frogs, they might engage in mating behaviors one of which you can actually hear for yourself. The African dwarf frog are known to sing. And, well, it actually sounds more like an electrical hum, and they'll typically do this at night, as they sleep for long periods of time and can be active during the night. The African dwarf frog can carry salmonella, so it's important not to handle them and ensure that they remain inside of the tank at all times. When it comes to the aquarium setup of the frog, they should be kept at a ratio of one frog per gallon. Also, keep in mind that they come from shallow bodies of freshwater like rivers, ponds, and flooded forests. So you can recreate their environment by adding a variety of substrates, aquatic plants, rocks, and especially driftwoods. Just be sure to keep any water flow or currents to a minimum. They should be kept with a neutral pH of around 7 and with a temperature in between 76 and 82 degrees. Your African dwarf frog will do best in a minimum tank size of 10 gallons with a heater, filter, and water changes every other week.